I'm Margaret Sparky Sparkman from Conover, North Carolina. My gourds, my little insignificant gourds, got me on the Jay Leno show. Ten minutes on the Jay Leno. Ten minutes of fame. (laughs) That was the most exciting time, I think, in my life. It was a garden club project that we were making funny things to take to shut-ins. And I found out what a conversation piece they were. So that made me want to keep working with them and see what I could do with them. So here I am after 45 years, still working with gourds. And I'm allergic to gourds, uh, the dust and dirt. And I'm allergic to that. This is called folk art. You have to use your imagination a lot in this. So that's where you're... The creativity comes in. I look at the shape of it to see what I can visualize. You turn it around at every angle, see what you can visualize out of it. You have to look for something before you start working on it. So most people say they can't see anything but an old ugly gourd there, but I keep looking. There's some that I can't figure out anything to make out of it, so I just paint those like they grew. Working on gourds has helped keep my fingers limber. The doctor told me to keep it up as long as I could because I got arthritis real bad in my fingers, and that helps to keep them limber. I've been, I attended the North Carolina State Fair for 17 years, and I've been down to the Southern Spring Show in Charlotte for 40 years, and their um, Christmas show in Charlotte for 35 years. I've exhibited at every Christmas show. I take water exercise. We play bridge. I teach bridge classes at the YMCA. I attend church regularly. I think that's one of the big things helps keep you going. And uh, I have a strong faith in God that helps you. So I just like to be myself and do the things I like to do. I've done most every job there is to do in a YMCA, folded towels, helped watch the children in preschool. Uh, I've even lifeguarded and I've taught water exercise. I've done a little bit of everything at the YMCA. And they've named a senior center for me. <laughs> I was real proud of that. That was a great honor.